Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, we're going to put in a starter. And this starter is way under the intake manifold here. Behind the fuel pump in that corner. <coughs> way under here. You can kind of see it. Now this starter, for all I know, has not never been repa uh, replaced, and so this is a, a 91 um, Isuzu. This is a 2.3 motor. So I think I'm gonna have to take this charcoal canister out so I can get my hands up in there, uh, take a look, and jack the rig up. See what I can see from underneath just happened to rain today uh, a little bit <clears throat> and couldn't do it yesterday because I had an emergency heater repair to do and I'll make a video about that as well um, so yeah there's a couple of different types of these starters as you can see this one is flat here it doesn't have the cone on it so it's flat and then it's kind of square here <coughs> where it's kind of square looking that solenoid is almost as big as the starter motor maybe that is the starter maybe it's the starter and the solenoid well this must be the solenoid here that must be the motor anyway let's give it a go of course uh, you want to take your battery out or at least disconnect it you get more access here at this point and it looks like I might be able to get to it from here if you jack your rig up you can never have enough jack stands you should, you've all seen that movie where that guy gets stuck under the car and, uh, we want to have a safe working environment here so uh, you can see the starter a little bit better now um, here's there's one bolt on the outside on my right side and there's one on the left on the uh, whatever the, the uh, bell housing and it's pretty tight in here you can see this fuel line here is right up next to it and let's see we may have to take that loose get that out there's that looks like a 13 or 12 bolt holding that in yeah. Okay, so the only way to get to that nut right there is basically I found you have to get a long extension and go in there And grab that nut. Okay neighbors decided to have a barbecue today um, So got this one out um, It's better to take this bolt off before you drop it down because you have to twist it around unless you want to like totally disconnect the battery cable and it's always good to have gloves um, this one was actually still working but it was like sounding like it was going to go out just like any minute I got some anyway that's there's the new one again and what else so this little wire here I'm not sure what that wire is it might be the reverse light wire or something that was kind of in the way. What I had to do is take that off to heat this up because it wasn't coming out too easy. This bolt. So you got a nut. You got you got this nut, or excuse me, this bolt and this nut. So one of the bottom one. Let's see the top one. It's got the nut. The bottom one's got the bolt holding it in. And yeah, I had to heat the bell housing up in order to pull that nut out because it was like really tight and that's uh to avoid breaking that thing off in that bell housing you have to work it back and forth i actually used a torch to heat it up a little bit i had my pb blaster i sp sprayed in there trying to loosen that uh that bolt up i didn't it's a pretty heavy duty bolt but i just didn't want to have to think about breaking it off in there so to avoid that i heated it up and, and worked it back and forth and finally came out so you can look at your uh, flywheel from here too, inspect that all, clean up all your terminals and then assemble in reverse order. <laughs> I 
you can't even really see much from here so it's all got to go from the top I mean the bottom it's all got to be taken out from the bottom okay got it in I got it all bolted up uh, you know when I checked the start of the, the first one the old one the top bolt was a little bit loose I don't think that would cause a problem that the, the way that noise was uh, but I got her in it's all bolted up right now I just need to hook the wires up and this is the uh, Ultima it had the lifetime limited lifetime warranty I got from uh, O'Reilly's and uh, it was like uh, 100 bucks plus 20 bucks for the core um, I'm gonna probably keep the core and see if I can do anything with it and uh, if I can't I'll just turn it in it was a $20 core charge and uh, I called AutoZone they wanted a 40 it was about the same price they wanted a $40 core charge so you know how tax that up right so uh, I went with the O'Reilly um, and it's in there I just need to button it up so this took me let's see I had to take my watch off to get my hands in between there but uh I'm thinking it probably took me about an hour because I had to round up all my little tools and everything for everything uh, get my torch out and heat things up but uh yeah hopefully that'll be uh, a good one for lifetime right okay the proof is in the pudding in the pudding okay keys in car in neutral clutch in Sounds a lot better. Okay, so it hasn't been driven in like three days, so it's not going to start right up without me pumping the gas. And so since I'm not driving it, I'm not going to start it. But uh, before that new starter, it was basically, I mean, it would like drag, and then maybe if I was lucky, it would uh, turn it over. Um, so yeah, that's the 91 Isuzu 2.3 starter install video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.